know what, guys? I am so ready for spring to get here, but it just ain't happening. So today on the Spicy Apron Cooking Show, I am going to warm us up from the inside out and teach you guys how to make Irish coffee. And it's just in time for your St. Patrick's Day celebrations. And it's a lot easier than you'd think. We took a trip to San Francisco a couple of years ago, and one of my very favorite things I was introduced to is Irish coffee. We went to the Buena Vista and sat there and watched the 80-year-old Asian gentleman who had been doing it for years and years and years make the Irish coffee that became famous at that very place in 1916. So today I'm going to show you how to make it. It's super easy. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Start with one cup of brewed strong coffee. This coffee is not flavored and it is not sweetened and you definitely want it to be strong. Oh, and I also wanted to make sure you guys knew that I have started a new YouTube channel called The Freedom Strategy. It is all about helping you create multiple streams of income so you can quit your job and get on living the life you want. So if that kind of thing interests you, I will put a link to it below. Please click on it, check it out if you're at all interesting. It's a brand new channel and it also explains my hair color. All right, coffee. We've got the coffee in the mug and this is important. You want to put in two lumps of sugar. Now I am not one to like sweet coffee, but this is a critical step. And be sure to use the cubes because it is the perfect amount every single time. Now, before you put the cream on top, make sure you stir it really well to dissolve all of that sugar. Okay, so with your sugar dissolved, now we're gonna add the good stuff that's really gonna warm you up. Now, this is a shot of Tullamordu whiskey. That is what they use at the Buena Vista. It is what I choose to use. It is fabulous, but you can certainly use any kind of whiskey you want. And if you'll notice, I use the big side of my jigger. Smell that as it mixes with your warm coffee. All right, so stir that up. Now, here's the fun part. Put the coffee down. You're going to put a float of whipped cream on top. Now, this whipped cream is not sweetened, so I made it from heavy whipping cream, whipped it for about three minutes. Uh, it's a nice soft whip, and we're gonna float it on top and make sure it's not sweetened. The coffee has just enough sweetener in it. So here's the trick. Here's how you do it. You take a spoon and turn it upside down and lean it into your coffee mug, and then you take your fresh whipped cream and you pour it on top. And what this will do is it allows it to just kind of stay on top. If you plop it right in there, it might sink to the bottom. And while that'll still taste good, it won't have that classic Irish coffee cream on top taste and texture. And I gotta tell you, it's a lot about the texture in this one. You get the cool cream on top, it's not sweetened, and then you take your sip of that coffee with a little bit of sugar in it, and it's nice and warm. Oh my God, guys, I can't wait to try this one. All right, so now that it's perfectly floating on top, that is it. Would you look at that? Look at that. All right, yes, I'm gonna taste it. If you are looking for more comfort food ideas, I've got this Instant Pot meatloaf. It is fantastic, so easy to make. You and your family will love it, uh, but maybe not as much as you're gonna love this Irish coffee. Mmm, mmm, mm-hmm. Oh, wow, gets you right there. That is what I'm talking about. If you're looking for a way to warm up and wait for spring, this is the way to do it. And if you're looking for more easy, yummy recipes, please hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification so you will be alerted as soon as my next video comes out. Cheers, here's to the Irish.